This video introduces the new version of Power Server and how the major improvements Appian has made to the product will drastically accelerate moving your Power Builder projects to the cloud as desktop cloud apps. The new generation of Power Server, Power Server 2021, enables you to automatically deploy Power Builder projects as desktop cloud apps. As indicated by the name, such applications feature both desktop and cloud attributes. Desktop meaning the application will still run natively on the Windows desktop with a powerful functionality and rich user interface of a desktop application. Cloud meaning the database and the database related operations residing in the cloud rather than on-premise with automatic deployment of the client to users over the internet in other words, you can think of desktop cloud apps as the modern desktop app that requires internet connection to install and run. Power Server 2021 replaces the web browser implementation of the older generation Power Server with a desktop cloud app implementation. This replacement of the previous implementation is much more powerful because it is now native PowerScript instead of translating to JavaScript. The key trade-off of this change to native PowerScript is that Power Server 2021 can no longer support iOS and Android devices. This is because PowerScript is only supported by the Windows OS. So how does this change away from JavaScript to native PowerScript help Power Builder developers? Well, essentially 100% of Power Builder features are supported. This is now possible because Power Server 2021 no longer translates to JavaScript, an example web app, and instead natively uses PowerScript, an example desktop app. Desktop cloud apps are internet installable applications. A desktop cloud app will be initially installed by accessing the app URL in a web browser. After that, the app has no dependency on the web browser type, version, or settings but will run and update itself as needed over the internet. Communication between the desktop and the server is through standard REST JSON interface, instead of previously the proprietary binary format. Since this is standard REST JSON, it can be secured using whatever approach you like, for example, OAuth2 for user authentication and AES encryption to protect the JSON data. .NET Core is now supported. This changes the landscape for .NET in three major ways. Number one, it supports cross OS and example Linux servers. Number two, the server side performance is faster. And number three, Microsoft redesigned from the ground up to be cloud deployable, including Docker compatibility and side by side versioning. The product deployment, including license activation mechanism, has been revised for cloud compatibility and even works with containers such as Docker's. Before going through the changes in the architecture of Power Server 2021, let's first take a look at the architecture of the previous generation. On the client side, you will require a web browser or the IWA component. On the server side, to run a web app, you will require a Power Server that works on top of IIS and the .NET framework. The visual components or elements of the application are downloaded from the web server and run on the client machine. The application server handles database communication, including execution of SQL and transaction management. The architecture of Power Server 2021 follows a cloud-native architecture and is based on the open source.NET Core framework. The visual components or elements of the application are downloaded from the web server and run on the client machine, just as before. The server handles database communication, including execution of SQL and transaction management, just as before. However, the detailed architecture is different. The most important thing to note is that communication between the client and server is through standard REST JSON APIs replacing the previous proprietary HTTP RPC for communication between the client and Power Server's runtime services. In example, data window execution, embedded SQL execution, etc. 
The server side is now much less of a black box. Specifically, developers can view and modify the source code of practically the entire REST API layer, highlighted in green color here, such as implementing your own authentication and authorization. It implements a cloud-native architecture so that you can go beyond basic hosting and take advantages of cloud technologies, such as Docker, Kubernetes. It adopts the open source.NET Core framework instead of old.NET framework, which improves runtime performance as well as supports cross OS. An example, Windows, Linux, etc. Traditionally, when you compile a Power Builder application using P code, Power Builder builds Power Builder dynamic libraries, PBD files. The PBD files contain everything, such as visual objects, data windows, data stores, PowerScript code, and embedded SQL. All the PBD files must be installed to the desktop and work together to get the application running. The compilation of desktop cloud apps is different from the traditional P-code approach. The data access now executes on the server instead of the desktop. Static data windows data stores are automatically converted to .NET models and deployed to the server during design time. Dynamic data windows data stores will be created at the desktop and have its SQL sent as strings to the server during runtime. Data operations for all data windows and data stores, no matter static or dynamic, is performed on the power server through calling relevant REST APIs. Embedded SQLs will be deployed as strings to the server during design time. Dynamic SQLs will be created at the desktop and sent as strings to the server during runtime. Execution of all SQL, no matter embedded or dynamic, is performed on the power server through calling relevant REST APIs. All PowerScript and all other objects, besides data windows, data stores, continue to execute on the desktop. In other words, the application business logic written in PowerScript is not automatically partitioned by Power Server. Although it is unnecessary to partition the business logic for desktop cloud apps, if you desire to reuse the application business logic elsewhere or optimize the overall application performance, the PowerScript migrator product can highly automate the conversion of such business logic to REST JSON APIs. All PBD files are broken down very granularly into each individual object definition file. For example, each SRW, SRD, SRU, etc., all these files would have its individual corresponding P code file that have new file extensions such as DWO, .apl, .fun, .win, .udo instead of a monolithic PBD files. Then each version of every P code file has a unique identifier so that when a user runs the desktop cloud app, the P code files can be incrementally downloaded and updated, depending on the window and functionality the user is accessing. So you will see that with the new compilation approach, it is enhancing Power Builder compilation to not only support a client server module, but to also support a cloud model. Simply put, data access is automatically removed from the desktop to the cloud, and the application installation is redesigned to work efficiently over the internet, providing the key changes necessary to deploy existing client server projects to the cloud. Desktop cloud apps are internet installable applications. A desktop cloud app will be initially installed by accessing the app URL in a web browser. After that, the app has no dependency on a web browser, type, version, or settings, but will run and update itself as needed over the internet. Power Server is a highly automated cloud deployment solution that requires very little code changes. However, there are a few key tasks that is not automatically handled, requiring manual programming effort. User authentication. It is possible for desktop cloud apps to apply OAuth to authentication. Some settings will be provided after the application deployment for configuring the user authentication strategy for the application. Connection to the database. The SQL CA settings will be configured for the power server as data source settings 
and dynamic database connection settings, which establishes the connection between the Power Server and the database. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Power Server 2021.